Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ark the Lad Twilight of the Spirits. In our last episode we showed, showed some um, thugs how we do, how we defend ourselves, and we got Guido's high speed chicken feed. Just when I got through a filler fight because I thought no one needed to see that since we had already been in the Sabnak forest. So I thought I'd just cut to what's really important. Where have you been? Taking a leisurely stroll somewhere? I've been waiting forever for you to get back here. You've bought the Phoenix Blood, right? What's that? An early grave, eh? You just mind your own business! You don't have to say everything that pops into your tiny head! But, well... Maybe I should stop drinking it. After all, think of how the world would mourn the passing of such peerless beauty. There we go. Say, have you heard about Furbles? Then I'll sum it up. Purples? Purples are incredibly rare monsters. Rare because those damn Orcon are just crazy about them. And you know what that means? No! Those stinking Orkhan will shell out any amount of money for a furball. No matter what the cost. <laughs> How should I know? Ask him yourself. You should worry more about catching those furballs before they do. Got it? Then stop slouching around and get out there! Alright, fine, Joel's dad. We'll get... we'll get to it. I just have to stop by this save point first. Hi, Kermit. Or Mr. Johansson. Chances are, as we were leaving, they... Guido probably said something along the lines of, And don't forget to tell my son Joel that he's a piss child!
Which path should I You should walk the path of Batman, Dark. That usually goes pretty well. Well, unless you're being written by Frank Miller. Or you're in the hands of Joel Schumacher. Then it's gonna suck. I have answered that question so many times, I'm not even going to dignify that with, with a response, Dark. Die! How's that? That's all! Well now, since we got some exposition about Furbles from the Exposition Fairy the last time they were mentioned, it only makes sense that we go back to said Exposition Fairy to see what else we can learn about the Furbles. But first, let's go to the healing, to the healing merchant. Looks like a blue frog. For a second I thought, I mean to the untrained eye, they can look like, like a blue elephant. Or maybe that's just me. With that one time, when I first played this. Let's try asking about furbles again. And now we and now that we know where to look for them, it's 
it only makes sense that the world map opens up a little bit. Because, because finding one... Well, actually, it wouldn't make sense for there to be one at the church. Yet. Well, the ruins of the church. Damn it! Yes, as you can s as we can all see, the path has opened up a bit. Huh. That marsh looks awfully suspi suspicious. Let's go take a gander over there. Right after we fight the obligatory random encounter in Savanac Forest. Yeah, you kind of have to, Dark. This is kind of like Kamen Rider Ryuki. You don't fight, you don't survive. Except in here, there aren't any Madoka parallels. that question one too many times, Dark. Never again shall I dignify that with a response. Well, from you, at least. Come back to Guido's right yet. She'll get pissed at us for staying up late. And thus, we have what is considered in in this game to be, con or at least in my opinion, 
to be the equivalent of the Water Temple puzzle from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Practically hear the Mission Impossible music playing in the background. That or Metal Gear Solid. You can't walk on the concrete because it's, or what I think is concrete, it might just be stone. Because that will tip the furball off. La 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 la. Yeah. Yes. This is this is on par with that one side quest. Well, not so much a side quest as a main quest thing that you have to do in Tales of Symphonia. The first one. Ah. Dang it, I didn't even see you there. This whole thing is gonna be an ordeal. It is gonna be such a pain in the ass. But at least I can lessen the pain. By singing a song from a recently re- yeah. From a recently released game. Oh, 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 I nudge. I nudge. I forgot that I'm supposed to do that. Don't I feel stupid? No, that's not where the furball is. I thought th I thought for some reason that that was where the furball was. I feel like a dingus now. La 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 la. Well, I've had a little exclamation point appear above the thing with the one. And something tells me that a moving cardboard box would make it, make us look even more suspicious to the furball. Like I imagine it might be smart enough to know. Wait a second. Boxes don't move. Not on their own, at least. But yeah, I would definitely keep a furball as a pet. I don't know why, but I would probably name it Terrence. I don't know why. Close that time.
Or at least I think I was close. I could be wrong. Wouldn't be the first time I've been wrong about something. I've got you now. I've got you now, Terrence. I have you right where I want you. But I can't go over the concrete path. That's what you want. Yeah. That's what you want. Actually, if I want to get behind you, that would not be the ideal path. No, no, no. I will have to go through this path. I'll have to go the slightly longer way around. Damn it! Close! I didn't even know it was that close! Terrence can just pop up wherever the hell it pleases! I mean, I know this probably isn't as infuriating as the Water Temple well, in Ocarina of Time, but it sure certainly feels that way. Oh, ho, ho, you'd want me to go that way, wouldn't you? the 25 minute mark here folks so we can we're going to continue this little furball hunt in the next episode this has been ultra gamer j signing off and please remember to like and subscribe for more content